Well, the Monterey Peninsula was, was really an art colony. Uh, obviously, our scenery is incredible, and many of the artists from uh, the Monterey Peninsula perhaps went abroad and studied. Uh, they learned techniques in, in Europe. They observed what artists were doing there, brought those techniques, and kind of put their own twist on them here on the Monterey Peninsula. So uh, we also had a, a, quite a few uh, European artists who moved to the Monterey Peninsula and settled here and painted. Monterey is the center, the capital, the cradle of the history of California and the West. Monterey's been a magnet for tourists, and artists were among the first to realize the charms of this area. Art in the Adobe's Festival is a, a partnership between several different organizations. It was the brainchild of the old Monterey Business Association and was, was really a way to bring people to historic downtown Monterey uh, by combining the Adobe's with art. And there was a wealth of art uh, that was in the city of Monterey's collection as well as state parks. And so we had a good basis to start Art in the Adobe's. And, and really celebrate downtown Monterey, bring people down, down to the downtown area. To combine the art, which is also historical and commemorates the history, to show that in the buildings where that history took place is just magical. I mean, we're, we're setting an example for the country, but unfortunately, we're one of the few places in the country that can really do an event like this. So why should people come? One of the big impulses beyond this event is how extraordinary Monterey is as a physical community and sharing that with a much broader public throughout California, even beyond. I think this event is important for the community because it really does uh, highlight what's important in downtown Monterey. We hear over and over again from people, oh, I've never gone the, on the Adobe tour. I've never been inside the Adobes. I hear people that say, uh, I haven't been to the Monterey Museum of Art yet. And they are just pleasantly surprised when they come in what an incredible uh, facility we have here. Um, I, I think it's really just giving people a reason to come uh, into this historic area and, uh, and learn. And I think we'll, we'll learn a lot about our artistic um, heritage on the Monterey Peninsula. Well, this year, uh, we not only have the Stevenson House with this wonderful collection of murals, but we uh, have a collection over at Castle Guterres. And that's a property that hasn't been open to the public for a long time. And we have some wonderful artwork that, uh, again, from the city, the state, some private collections. Cuba Malera Adobe is open this year once again. We have three rooms. Um, with artwork in the Diaz Sala, the anteroom of the uh, Cooper Miller Adobe, and then the main captain's uh, dining room there. So great opportunities. Then our, our, some of our partners, the Monterey Museum of Art, they have a, a show that ties in with what's going on here. Um, Monterey History and Art Association with Casa Serrano and their museum, the Museum of Monterey. So it's all working together that these sites are going to be open for the public to enjoy. There, there are uh, themed exhibits uh, around our, uh, our overall theme this year, which is Rediscovery, Monterey Peninsula Artists at Home and Abroad. Um, every year there will, there will be a theme to Art in the Adobes. Uh, we always want the public to know that there'll be something different to see every year for Art in the Adobes. The other really exciting uh, exhibit that we have this year is uh, called Magnificent Murals. These 
were painted in the Custom House in the 1930s. They were commissioned by the WPA. This was a Roosevelt program to get people back to work when times were tough. Times are tough now. And, and, and at that time, the foresight was to do something that could be, you know, enjoyed not only at that time, but maybe into the future. So here we are, you know, another century later, and this artwork is being enjoyed once again. So to have the pieces that were for many years in Sacramento, either are rotating around on display or in storage, to come back to Monterey where they were painted, to be shared and displayed with the people of Monterey, I think it's a great story. So I'm really pleased about uh, that effort that we've, we've done. Um, this one was uh, needing great conservation through Art in the Adobe and a couple sponsors. We were able to get private funding, coupled with a little state uh, funding, to have this beautiful painting restored, reframed, re-lined. Re and it's um, now, instead of being in storage for the last 30 years, it's, it's out here for the public to enjoy. And we hope to keep these in Monterey for a long time. This mural is by Mary Evelyn McCormick, who is a very well-known uh, artist uh, in Monterey. Uh, she was commissioned to paint uh, the historic buildings uh, in the 1930s. And uh, this mural, however, is of shrimp fishermen and really uh, takes on that WPA kind of burly men working theme. And it was originally commissioned for the Custom House. And at some point, possibly in the late 1960s, was taken down and rolled up sent up to Sacramento to a warehouse and literally has not seen the light of day since. In its restored state, it is magnificent and it will be seen at the Stevenson House as part of uh, Art in the Adobes. And it's, and it's just a pleasure to be able to see all this artwork up close and in a way that uh, even the public doesn't get to see it. However, this, these venues are such that, as you can see, you can get right up to the artwork, including this uh, wonderful McCormick painting, Shrimp Fisherman. So, it's, so I'm really pleased that the public will have that kind of intimate access to the site too. Well, I think the thing um, that, that was important to us is that the venues be within walking distance and it was a natural to choose certain key adobes that are not as open as, as often as they have been because of uh, budget uh, cutbacks with the state of California. And I think we can also call Polk Street a venue. Uh, we are closing Polk Street on Saturday and Sunday, there'll be a lot of uh, artists, children's activities that are sponsored by the Monterey Museum of Art, exhibits, demonstrations, lots of things happening for the public. Join us for next year's Art in the Adobes Festival, where you can view rare works of art in our beautiful collection of historic buildings. Learn about our storied art history in the exhibits and lectures by experts. Join us for family activities, receptions, special demonstrations, and much more. Visit artintheadobes.org for more information. Thank you very much to the partners, sponsors, and volunteers for putting on this special event. We'll see you next year for the third annual Art in the Adobes Festival with the theme artists and architecture.